fraternal greetings to all of you. My name is Brother Louis. I am a Capuchin friar. And my name is Laura Hughes, co-facilitator with Brother Louis. And we're happy to be with you again to launch the second step of our preparation process to the 2023 General Assembly. First, I would like to briefly remind you of the spirit and orientations of this process. And then Laura will present the second steps of the preparation. We all know that consecrated life in Canada faces many and varied challenges. In this context, the service of community leadership is, is demanding and calls for communion and for discernment. Therefore, it is our hope that the 2023 General Assembly will allow us to discern the movements and the calls of the Holy Spirit at this time in our history, based on the concerns and the deep desires of the CRC members. Hopefully, this assembly will open up spaces for conversation and reflection with the goal of renewing the enthusiasm and energy to pursue our responsibility and to consider the present and future contribution of consecrated life to the Church and to the Canadian society. We come now to the second step in our preparation process. At this step, we will ask you to take the thoughts and preoccupations that you heard in your conversation with your leadership team or community and bring them into a virtual conversation with other CRC members. For this, we've sketched out the following process. First, set a virtual gathering with the group assigned to you by the CRC. Give yourselves approximately an hour and a half for this conversation. Designate one person to take a few notes and enter the essentials into the Google form provided. Once you're gathered online, begin by reading the story of the disciples of Emmaus. As a reminder, that's Luke 24, 13 to 35. Even though you've heard it, read it and studied it many, many times, make a special effort to read it with fresh eyes and a renewed spirit. Place yourselves in the context of your consecrated life and of the conversations that you've had in preparation for this gathering. After the reading, begin by sharing the salient elements of that conversation in just a few points. Be sure to listen to each person without interrupting or interpreting. Then, we've given you two questions to guide your conversation. First, what strikes you as you listen to what your group members have to say? Second, how do you experience and perceive your leadership role in this context? These questions are also in the Google form that we've provided for your feedback. To conclude your conversation, what thoughts or feelings are rising in you that you'd like to share with the others around this virtual table? We wish you a happy and fruitful dialogue.